Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to next class of LRDI. So we are discussing number based LRDI, another good logical set in this regard. Okay, so this is a set here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G are consecutive integers, not necessarily in the order such that the lowest of these is greater than 50 and highest is less than 60. It is known that E minus D plus 11 is equal to G by 4. It is known that E minus D plus 11 equal to G by 4. B is the highest number as well as a prime number. C minus D is equal to B minus A and A is an odd number and C is an even number. So basically we have four questions to follow, which is the smallest number. The next question is what is the value of uh, uh, D plus F? Then the question what is the value of C? So like this we have four questions, right? Basically you have to find the, all the value of A, B, C, D, E, F and G. We have to find all the values of A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Now, this is the important point here, right? B is an, B is the highest number, right? It is given that. B is the B is the highest number as well as a prime number, right? So in between 50 to 60, in between 50 to 60, right? In between 50 to 60, what are the prime numbers? So in between 50 to 60, prime numbers are what? Only 53 and 59. So in between 50 to 60, 53 and 59 are the only prime numbers, right? So when B is the highest number, then A, B, C, D, E, F, G are six consecutive numbers. So obviously B's value cannot be 53, right? Because if B is 53 and B is the highest number, if B is 53 and B is the highest number, then the other numbers have to be 52, 51, 50, 49 and 48, which is not possible. Why? Because all the numbers are less than 50. Sorry, all the numbers are greater than 50. That's why it is not possible. It is not possible. Therefore, B could be only 53 and 59 as a prime number. So B for sure is 59. B for sure is 59, right? That means I got that my highest number, my highest number is 59. Then there are total seven numbers here, right? So then the numbers to numbers to in decreasing order 59, then 58, then 57, then 56, then 55, then 54, and then 53. These are my seven integers, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, in which for sure 59 is B. We know that 59 is B now. Okay, now let's use the first part here. E minus D plus 11 equal to G by 4. Okay, E minus D plus 11 is equal to G by 4. Now that means basically G is divisible by 4 because E and D both are integers. 11 is also integer. So when integers are added, added and subtracted, result is also an integer. That means G by 4 should be an integer, right? So G by 4 is an integer. That means G has to be divisible by 4. G has to be of the form 4K. G has to be divisible by 4. So only in these, in these values, we have only one value divisible by 4, that is 56. So G has to be 56. G has to be 56, right? Only one value is here that is divisible by 56, that is divisible by 4, that is 56, right? So I can write this now, E minus D plus 11 is equal to 56 by 4, that is 14. Therefore, I'll get E minus D is equal to 3. I'll get E minus D is equal to 3, right? So let me list down all the possibilities here, right? I got E minus D is equal to 3. I'll write down all the possibilities. What are the possibilities here? So if I have E minus D is equal to 3, the possibilities are among this 59 and 56, which is not possible obviously, 58 and 55, 57 and 54, okay, and 56 and 53. Only there are four possibilities where E minus D equal to 3. Out of which 59, 56 are not possible because not possible because 59 is the value of B, it can't be value of E. 58 and 55 are possible for now, right? 58 and 55 are possible. 57 and 54 are also possible. 56 and 53 are also not possible because 56 is the value of G, it can't be value of E. So E's value, E value is either 58 or 57, right? E's value is either 58 or 57. So now that means we are forming two cases here, right? E's value is either 58 or 57. Now, what is the next one? A is an odd number and C is an even number, right? So now take, I'll take the two possibilities, right? I know that 59 is B. 
and I have, I know that 56 is G, right? Now let's in the first possibility, E is 58 and here E is 57. So let's put this possibility here. Here E is 58 and this is second possibility here E is 57, right? I'm writing the second possibilities here. I'm writing the first possibilities here. Okay, so E could be 58, E could be 57. So if E is 58, E might, then D is how much? D is 55. If E is 58, then D is 55. Okay, and if E is 57, then D is 54. This is the possibility. This is the possibility, right? Now, uh, C minus D is equal to B minus A, another important point. And A is an odd number and C is an even number, right? Now see here, in this case, I'm left with numbers like 53, I'm left with numbers like 53, 55 and 50, uh, sorry, I'm left with only two numbers, 53 and 55, right? In the second, in the second possibility, I'm left with numbers 53, 55 and 58. And in the first possibility, I'm left with numbers 57, 54 and 53. So A is an odd number as well as uh, C is an even number, right? A is an odd number as well as C is an even number. So in second case, 53 or 55 could be A, right? But in first case, uh, 57 and 53 could be A, right? So in first case, 57 and 53 could be A, right? So now let's take up another possibility now. Take up another possibility like C minus D is equal to B minus A. C minus D is equal to B minus A. Right? So we have basically values of B and D here. So I can write C plus A is equal to B plus D. Okay? So what is B plus D here? So B plus D is how much? B here is 59. D here is 54. So B plus D is 113. Is the one possibility. And C plus A is equal to B plus D. In the first case, what is B plus D? In the first case, what is B plus D? 59 plus 55. B plus D is 114. Okay. So B plus D is 114 and here B plus D is 113. So you got to think that obviously when C is an uh, even number and A is an odd number. C is an even number and A is an odd number, right? So when C is an even number, A is an odd number, sum of even plus odd is always odd, right? Odd plus odd is always even, okay? Even plus even is also even. Even plus even is also even, right? 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus 5 is 8, okay? So only odd plus even is odd. Only odd plus even is odd. So once C is odd, once C is odd, sorry, once C is even, right? Now once C is even, once C is even and once A is odd, once C is even and once A is odd, C is even, A is odd, even plus odd result is always odd, right? So it is given that C is even and A is odd. That means C plus A cannot be equal to 114. C plus A cannot be equal to 114. Which possibility is this? C plus A cannot be equal to 114. Which possibility is this? In the first possibility, in the first possibility, B plus D is 114. B plus D is 114. That means first possibility is not true. First possibility is not true. That means second possibility is the correct one which we are going. Right? This is how you eliminate in LR. Right? When you have two possibilities, take it one. Take it one and go move uh, move further. Right? No, this is a very... Uh, Logical way of solving LRD, right? What we what people do actually, what people do is actually, when we have like, we know that in LR there are three possibilities or two possibilities, right? We sit back and we just think, uh, and we keep on wasting the timing. Uh, we are wasting the timing, right? Because we're thinking, okay, there are three possibilities which to choose, right? No one will come and tell you, right? That this is the right possibility. You have to put and you have to check and you have to eliminate, right? So do, don't work... Uh, don't work, uh, don't think that work is light in LRDI. Work is hard, right? When, when you have multiple possibilities, put the value and check, right? You'll feel, uh, you'll always eliminate the wrong values and put the correct values, right? You have to put and check. So that means we took the two possibilities here. So now first is eliminated. So second is a true one now. So I know that now, I know that C is an even number and A is an odd number. Result is 113. So which can be, give, which will give me 113? 
which will give me one one three so obviously obviously c will be uh, c is an even number so c is 58 and a is 55 c is 58 and a is 55 will give me result as 113 will give me result as 113 right so what is left what is left so we got here we got a is equal to 55 we got b is equal to 59 we got c equal to 58 we got d equal to 54 we got e equal to 57 we got f is equal to we should get f is equal to now 53 also right because only f is left and we got g is equal to 56 so these are my values these are my values right so combining all the results we'll get this values okay what is the answer now so we can, we can answer the questions now right what is the question here so question here is which is the smallest number question one which is the smallest number which is the smallest number so you can see here the smallest number is 53 that is f so f is the answer f is the smallest number right okay move to second question now which is the sum of d and f which is the sum of d and f right which is the sum of d and f d and f what is d here d is 54 what is f f is 53 54 plus 53 how much 107 d and f sum is 107 right so easy it becomes now once very logical we have solved this set right and we're getting the answers very quickly now third one third one which is the third smallest number which is the third smallest number right which is the third smallest number which is the third smallest number what is the answer third smallest number a smallest number is 53 then 54 then 55 a is the third smallest number which is third sorry i have marked e here should be wrong second question answer was 107 right for third question answer is okay let me uh rub here yes so second question answer 107 so what is third question so third question is third question is which is the third smallest number which is the third smallest number right which is the third smallest number so 53 54 55 a is the third smallest number so a is the third smallest number so what is the answer for this question a is the third smallest number answer for this question is a answer for this question is a okay okay so it is third smallest number what is the answer answer is a answer is a okay we can form four five, five six many questions right ultimate aim was to calculate all the values of a b c d e f and g right so we'll continue this LRDA in the next video thank you for watching